Hey, welcome back to Ramsey Land. Today we're going to look at the double displacement reaction between silver nitrate and copper 2 sulfate. Check this out. So all I'm using for this reaction is a graduated cylinder with about 80 mils of distilled water, copper 2 sulfate, a dropper, a stir spoon, and a solution of silver nitrate. Now, you may remember a similar precipitation reaction that we did last week using silver nitrate in an aqueous solution of sodium chloride. This will look very similar to that reaction. Start by adding four grams of copper two sulfate to your solution and mix it until it's completely dissolved. Okay, once your copper sulfate is completely dissolved, I would add a little to a petri dish so you can add drops of silver nitrate to observe the precipitant in the petri dish as well. So just a little bit in here. And then you're ready to add your silver nitrate and right away, you'll start to see the precipitant, which is silver sulfate. That's the insoluble solid that appears. Let me get my camera in focus, okay. There we go. Kind of see it's kind of cloudy. Add it to our Petri dish. Closely. It's trying to appear. Okay, so what's going on in this double displacement reaction is you have an aqueous solution of copper sulfate that you're adding to an aqueous solution of silver nitrate. These are your reactants and your product is copper nitrate and silver sulfate. Silver sulfate is the insoluble precipitant that you saw those were the white drops that formed in the Petri dish. Interestingly, silver sulfate is used to treat second and third degree burns. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's edition of Ramsey Land, and I'll see you next time.